Hello, so this is how you translate the keystrokes on your MIDI keyboard in real life to the Bard Performance Act in Final Fantasy. Um, there is another software called Bome Classic, which seems to be what people are sort of telling other people to use. I've had a lot of issues with it with my keyboard personally. It works on my larger keyboard, but I don't want to set up a full-size keyboard at my computer desk for a quick jingle now and again. Um, so I have a small keyboard here. It's an Akai Professional LPK25, super cheap, on Amazon, 35 quid, $40, whatever. Um, as such, you only really have two octaves, you've got a couple buttons, they do somewhat work, um, not so much with Final Fantasy, they don't really play very nice, but I'll show you how to program up the keys, super simple. Unlike Bone Classic, you don't have to make multiple translations for key up and key down and key press, like sustain, so you know when you hold down your Q key it keeps playing the, the note on a violin for example. So what you're going to need is MIDI key to key, um, I'll put the link in the description. It's dead simple, just jump on the website, jump to the download section, uh, whatever bit suits your computer, you know, 64 bit, 32 bit, whatever. So minimize that because I've already downloaded it. When you first open it, I'll just clear that up. So you will have select input device. And what you're going to need to do is just grab your MIDI keyboard. Obviously, you should have it plugged into the computer and powered on. And you're going to want to click start. So this will start listening for your key presses from that device. So if I press C minus, the very first key on my keyboard, down, you will see it creates an entry there. And I'll lift it, and it creates another entry. Now, this was the problem with Bohm where my keyboard, this little cheap keyboard, doesn't have the option to turn off velocity or touch sensitivity. So these numbers would be different every single time. Now that was a super big problem with Bohm, but not for MIDI key to key. So what we do is we just grab the first entry here. So that's your key down press. And we're going to change it to be Q, because that's what the first key is on my uh, barred performance keyboard layout. So we change it to Q. And you want to have react on first value ticked, leave this alone, and you want to click wait for note off and save. That's it. New action successfully saved. Okay, and we jump in game. Open our violin, and there you can see Q, and it's bound. So I can tap it, and it'll play just as long as it's you know pressed for. As you can see on the right, it can detect that it's being pressed, and it logs it. You don't have to have a log. You can have it minimized. You don't even have to have it on your screen. Um, you know, I can hold it and I'll play the note sustained, no problem. You see it keeps going as long as I keep holding it. Lift and we're off again. And I'll just do another one dead quick just to show you. So I will press my second key here. There we go. So that's the key pressed down. This is the one you want. The first entry created when you press the key down. Double click, open it. You can see that I have it bound to W on the performance section. That's not W, that's Q. Set it to W, react on first value, wait for note off, save. Done. We go back in game. Q, W, Q, W. You know, instant input. There's no lag in between key presses. It doesn't mess up. It, it takes five seconds to set up the key. Super simple. Um, any questions, give me a shout. It should just work with your keyboard. But yeah, let me know.